What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Turf Therapy. In today's episode, we're about to get after this corn. Finally, it's been a while since I planted it and let me show you what we're looking like right now. So at this point on the plant, the corn, it's ready to be harvested. As you can see, the silt has completely browned out um, on all of the cobs. It has browned out. So I'd say it's safe to say it's time to harvest these bad boys up. Now this isn't all the corn that I was able to grow in that grow bag. Um, and when it comes to prepping the soil, that's the most important part when it comes to growing corn in grow bags. See, corn is a heavy feeder. It's nothing more than a fancy type of grass. It likes nitrogen, potassium, and uh, phosphorus, just like any other plant. So when it came to preparing that bed over there, I put a pound of nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus in that soil, along with this cool product, Live Earth Soil Conditioner. I believe I showed that product when I did the tomato up potting video. Um, so that's what I put in that soil over there. And then when it came time to the fruiting time of this uh, plant, that's when I made sure I fed it every single week. And the fertilizers I used was plant food from Simple Lawn Solutions and Bloomplex from Ecologel. Uh, so let's see what we got. Now, when you're growing corn, ideally you want to plant them blocked relatively close. Corn is one of those plants where it's okay to get a little bit more than you think you might need in that area. And part of that is so we can have pretty beautiful pollination like we do here. Now this pollination is not perfect by any means, but this is more than respectable and edible for your average home gardener. You see that? Check that out. Now, it's not all the way through the tip, full and through. And this is our peaches and cream corn, if I haven't said that already. So peaches and cream corn, this is what the pollination looks like grown in the home garden. So. Obviously, I missed a few spots here, but I'd say we're about 90% pollinated here, which can't complain. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna eat this corn and then we'll get on that cucumber. I don't like people looking at me when I eat. These are my lemon cucumber plants right here. And as you can see, they are struggling with a disease, a disease that most likely came from the cucumber beetle. Now, I'm not gonna fret and you guys won't see me do too much of um, trying to beat nature um, just because that's almost impossible to do, trying to compete and beat nature. Um, but what I do try to do is plant around nature whenever certain crops are in my favor. So um, when I first noticed the disease on this plant, I pruned her all the way back. As you can see, she fleshed out, she grew more, she put on more fruit, and the disease is still here. Now I did try to hit it with a little bit of neem oil when I first saw it, but I think it was just pretty much too late at that point. So now I'm gonna let her rest. She's been through a lot. She's still putting on blooms, 
those fruit are no more than likely not going to mature though. So there's no need me continuing to let her go through this torture. Look at this huge, look at that one. Man, that is a beautiful, this, I really love this fruit, especially paired with the Sodaki tomato. I'm trying to tell you, it hits different. It hits different. Here we go. We got 10 lemon cucumbers. Now, arguably, I think I've probably harvested about 40, maybe even 50 cucumbers off of those plants this season. Next season, I'm going to make sure I keep track just out of pure curiosity because the goal for me is to eat what I grow and I'm not necessarily keeping score, but I am interested to see how much one healthy plant is able to produce before it ends up getting hit by disease or just some succumbs to mother nature. So we harvested the corn, we harvested the lemon cucumbers, and we also freed up the corbachi sweet pepper over there. It's a really cool plant. Um, now that she has a little bit more space to breathe, I think she's gonna be a lot happier. Hopefully she puts on another rack. Also, when we come back, hopefully we have an opportunity to harvest our popcorn. Yes, I have more corn growing in containers. I've showed it to you in my lives. And then I'm really tempted to finally pull a piece of this sugar cane that I got from New Orleans from the New Orleans Gardener. So make sure you stay tuned because I have so much more to show you before I depart here in Maryland. Thanks for tuning in for yet another episode of Turf Therapy with Real Healing Lawns and Souls. And I'll see you next time for your weekly dose of therapy with Rob. Peace. Mm -hmm.